United Way of Central Iowa and its partner agencies are creating impact in our community in ways we never expected or imagined. In 2012, because of the success of the campaign, United Way was able to launch the HOPE initiative, Health, Opportunity, Prosperity, and Education, and that is a high-touch case management model focused on the needs of 25 single-parent families uh, that are high poverty. Oftentimes in social services, we see entities working in silos where people have specialties and niches and things that they're taking care of for different families. And while that works for the agency, it doesn't always work for the family. What the family needs is one place they can go to get all of those services that encompass their needs. And the United Way's movement to that more encompassing approach is so helpful. A lot of these families are really focused on immediate survival needs, food, housing, and they aren't even looking long-term um, on goals uh, for self-sufficiency, where with our case management, um, our advocacy, where we work with these families and build up that trust, um, it turns into these moms and dads and kids are really looking at how can I better myself now that my immediate needs are addressed. We've been able to get all of our families housed, almost half the families that were in the HOPE initiative program when they came in were homeless. We've been able to get them into a stable home, which not only helps the, the adult, the mother or the, or the fathers in the program, but really it helps those children to be stabilized so they can do well in school. We've been able to provide that stability so that the families are able to really work towards, towards getting the employment that they need, to be able to get the education they need, to be able to get the job training again, to be able to start working towards that financial independence, so hopefully they can escape the throes of poverty. Poverty is a very difficult cycle uh, to get out of, and the HOPE initiative really enables these moms and dads and these kids to have the best opportunity to become self-sufficient and break that cycle of poverty. Um, it's a powerful, powerful thing that you're changing the lives of generations. My name is Samantha Fink and I grew up in Waukee, Iowa. I was born with meth in my system and it created a lot of obstacles growing up that I had to overcome. And school was hard because they picked, I got picked on a lot so I didn't really have anybody to really turn to. My first drug was marijuana. I was about 11 years old. At that time I was also smoking cigarettes and just started drinking. And then by the time I was 15 I tried cocaine. And then by the time I got turned 18, I was already using meth. I had to go to court and lost my apartment and I had to move. And that was the first time that I became homeless. I was using meth and I had gotten into it quite a bit. And I wasn't feeling right. I was starting to eat more, which isn't normal on meth. I was starting to eat more, I was starting to sleep. I just wasn't feeling right. And I had gotten really sick and I decided, well, maybe I should take a pregnancy test. So I took a pregnancy test and it was a positive and like, Deep down, like without any instinct, I had like this warm feeling and it was like I was so excited. But then it hit me like, oh, I'm scared because the addiction was speaking for me and it said like I had to quit. I knew I had to quit. Being in the HOPE Initiative program has really helped me by like been pushed to go to school like I didn't I was very nervous and scared to go to school and I was open to the opportunities and shown you know the different resources and what's possible for me and I like the HOPE initiative because it's you know giving me the motivation and let me know that I can do it. Sam is a hard worker she's well spoken she's I don't think I've met, ever met anybody as determined as Sam and and then also at the same time is willing to put in the time and effort. But being in the lighthouse, it kind of hit me, and just all these other programs and going to DMAC and going to school, it's kind of hit me that, wow, I have people that don't even really know me that but have stepped up and have helped me so much and have pushed me to do better. And it's like, I used to feel like nobody cares. I used to feel down and hurt, but it's like, I'm realizing now that I'm older, like there are people to help. January 1st of this year, we actually got our own place. Um, I'm so I'm out of the lighthouse and no longer homeless. Uh, finally kind of doing things on my own and it really feels good. Like looking at myself today, I never thought that I would be like where I'm at today. I never thought I'd have my own place, so kind of coming home every day and leaving, it's kind of like 
Sometimes it makes me tear up, like, this is mine. The Hope Initiative program has helped me greatly, and I know that I just need to keep going. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of struggles, but my worst day now is still better than my best day in my old life.